while we were on our way to podcast. This is LA. I have never been in traffic this deep in the Palisades in my whole life. Been driving the street a long time. So I'm so bummed because we only have Abby um, three days a week and I chose her to be a gunner today because we're supposed to podcast and then I have a breast augmentation uh, pro production, what's it called? Uh, appointment after this. I'm gonna meet with my doctor and see what he thinks of my implants and how they're doing. If, you know, cause they do still hurt so much and I don't think that they should be hurting as much as they are. I mean, I've had them for like eight years almost now. I can't even believe it's been so long. But underneath still hurts and I don't know if it's just because I have so much scar tissue but I've definitely been pretty concerned about it so I'm gonna go in check him out see if he thinks that they're good if they need to be replaced if removed whatever it is um, I was gonna go see him last year two years ago I guess I made my appointment and then the pandemic hit and he canceled my appointment that it took me like a month again but um Anyways, we definitely need to go to that at 3.30. It's 2.30, so hopefully we get past this traffic. And then we're gonna go get those dumplings. Did you wanna do that? Oh, uh, we'll see. We'll see what the plan is. This is a really popular street in Beverly Hills. What's it called, honey? Bedford, right? I think so. That's where I had one of my surgeries. Where? Surgery center. Wasn't that it? Where you picked me up? Isn't that a surgery center up there? Pretty no. sure. No? I think so. And then there's crustacean over here. So now that we're not podcasting, we're about half an hour early for my doctor's appointment. So we're going to get a little seafood if it's open and walk I'm gonna hold there. On for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, so kind see my podcast outfit because you only see this part and then it's really hot so shorts the whole thing and then my new hiking shoes for the aspen trip what brand of hiking shoes hokas they're hokas my mom actually said she just got a new pair too so we can be matching amazing so instead of podcasting we're at crustacean beverly hills they even have fish in the floor gorgeous what? ambience Where? as you walk through right here look at the fish in the floor Lobster dumplings. Shrimp and lobster dumplings. So we didn't Surf end up at the spot in Century City <laughs> that we said was gonna go have dumplings, and then we have surf and turf. Oh, oh, oh. go high to go. I love lobster. It's like my favorite thing ever. I got so excited for this crab cake, and then he tells me it's a hundred percent vegan. Wow, Madison from Proud Daddy would love that. I'm headed up to the penthouse. This is where Dr. Oringer is. Actually, this is the same building Dr. Frank Ryan used to live in. Um, rest in peace, Dr. Frank Ryan. So I'm gonna go here. This is a great big medical building. There's a lot of cosmetic surgeons, a lot of different surgeons and people here. So don't wanna be late for my appointment. They're like, with COVID, make sure that you're in time. So Spencer's eating. I had a few bites at Crustacean. Now I'm gonna go here and then I'll head over backwards, but I don't think that this should very long, so we'll see this. Yep, penthouse. Here we go. I'm gonna try to put my mask on. Well, it's looking like I'll definitely have to have my implants redone. So, whether they're taken out or redone, some of them are caps capsulated a little bit um, and they've just fallen in a different skin. So, I would need new implants and then he would. Um, get all the scar tissue out and he thinks that they are hurting because of the scar tissue. So uh, there would be a lot that would happen. So we're gonna talk about that, see if it needs to happen sooner or later, or you know, I would probably wait to have one more if we end up having another kid and then breastfeeding there. So uh, yep, definitely not wrong about the scar tissue <laughs> and the pain. And this is the office here. Um, I'm also looking at some photos of what it would look like if I took them all the way out and if I decided to just be done with them, but I think I would really miss them because I love them and I've had implants for like 15 years now or something. So um, this would, and then these new implants have a 20 year warranty, which is very interesting. So the other ones I have are only 10, um, but yeah, he would just 
This would be my probably the last pair that I ever get if I do get them. So this is the one the only Dr. Oringer. He is amazing. He did my last implants. And we're talking about redoing these ones, right? So in like maybe a year after the next baby? Sure, I think that would be a reasonable consideration for sure, Heidi. And we have a great game plan, right? We do, a yeah, great, great outcome starts with a great game plan. So we've talked now, and then after you have another beautiful baby, we will talk further and finalize a great plan. Amazing, and in the meantime, I'm gonna get a uh, mammogram. We will get we will get a mammogram and appropriate uh, studies. Make sure that the breasts are healthy, as every woman should do. Amazing! Great job! Thank you! So excited to see you! I'm Great very to excited see you, for Heidi. this. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you, Doctor. Spencer, it's a pleasure. Pleasure. And we have the penthouse here. Beautiful. We have a great These game plan. Open. They do, but These I don't know if you're allowed to go out there. You can go out. Wow. Go out and enjoy. This is incredible. Were you done eating? Yeah, do you want to go back? I had Darren coming. It Half was us. close, but that's why there's nobody in there. Oh. It's the best fried rice with scallops that I've ever liked. So, thank you for coaching me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a, Have a great one. Thanks for being on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Put me on there. Oh, there it is. Right. Ooh. There it is. There it is. Beautiful California. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Have, Have a great day. one. You too. penthouse suite up there is where we had our wedding night flowers. That's the pretty woman hotel Beverly Wilshire and our portraits. Uh, what a great time that was. This is Giorgio Baldi. So people who eat here, Rihanna loves this spot. We actually eat here before Rihanna. Um, Jay-Z, Beyonce have been here. Supporters. Ambiance, gorgeous Italian. I thought it was too dark in here, but it's not. Look how good on camera. Oh, cheers. I'm having a glass of champagne. Spencer's not drinking. I'm gonna drink. Do you have a, like a light Chianti? I do. I have a Chianti, but I have a Pinot Noir, which is lighter. Yeah. Sicilian Grey. What's the difference between the Pinot Noir? That one in the Pinot Noir is really light, like you can, like you can really see through the wine and for how light it is. Uh, still a little bit of fruit, nice perfumes. I think Cantista is definitely fruitier. Which do you bottle. like more? I like glasses. the Cantista better. Yeah. Hi, I'll do that. Glasses. Uh, open. Uh, heavy. This is the light. pumpkin oh ravioli. Oh, okay, pumpkin oh. ravioli. This is the oh. stretch Cantelli, I think it is. Their homemade pasta cubes, oh. and this is the oh. famous. Sweet corn and your Some good wine here with it. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> well, that dinner was 10 out of 10. It was so good. I don't know, it's the best. I mean, obviously, the corn, sweet corn and gelato. What a, I feel like we're on Netflix food show. I had the best <laughs> lunch. You didn't get to have the scallop fried rice. Oh my God. Or oh. the tuna cigar. I didn't have the vlog camera, so nobody got to see it. Oh man, you should have taken the vlog camera. We need to me. carry the two. We need to carry two. So we can cut when we're not together. Right. What's happening? Get right. This YouTube channel is a growing thing. Like I know it's a little random at times, a lot of flashback throwbacks, but we are just we're figuring out YouTube. Okay? It's a work in progress. The one thing it is is it's always going to have content. And it's gonna have consistency. The two C's of success. How much did you enjoy date night? I, it reminded me, those breaks are supposed to sound like that. Oh it reminded me of 14 years of my life. Aww. It's the best years, obviously. Aww. I gotta slow down if a dog ran in the street the other day. That's right, that was 
so crazy. And we got Spencer's parents to go food, so we're gonna drop that off and then race back. I asked Abby, what time can we have you till? Six, six thirty, the latest. Oh yeah, sure. Closer to seven. Uh, sorry. Nothing better than coming home. What did you and Liza work on? Okay, buddy, it's time for bed. No, this that what I want to get. Yeah. I was I was sure what I I what I want. What? Wanted what what trampoline I uh, want that looks like that. Did you already tell them about it? We yeah we uh. we're gonna get a trampoline today. You a was, It one? looks like that. Oh, across the way, you smart boy. That's the one I do want to get. But that one's rounded. I was thinking we could get a square one. I I was thinking about uh, maybe I could have a green or a blue uh -huh. one. <laughs> hey, big the big guy right there. Come on, G. It's time for bed. So I walk to one minute. Mm. That look at it. I wish I can have that blue one. You want that blue trampoline? Yeah. What would you do on it? Jump on it. Huh? And jump and jump and jump. I used to jump on a trampoline a lot. My grandma had one. Blue can you light. say goodnight? Say goodnight to the YouTube. A feather? I thought I saw one. 